Women from around Southeast Asia are marrying men from South Korea. It's a trend that's changed the face of Korea, which has always been a homogenized culture. But some migrant brides say they weren't prepared for what they found in their new home, and their marriages don't last very long. Jason Strother has the story. Tramchi Tan Chuen is helping her two young sons with their homework. The 26-year-old is originally from Vietnam. She married her Korean husband with the help of a marriage agency back home. Tran says before their wedding, she knew very little about his homeland. South Korea has one of the lowest birth rates in the developed world, and at the same time, many South Korean men, especially from rural parts of the country, like Asan, say they can't find wives. So tens of thousands of Korean men have married brides from other Asian countries over the past decade. Park Jung-ae, an official at Seoul's Ministry of Gender Equality and Family, says these international marriages, which account for close to 10 percent of all marriages, will continue to grow. 특히 이런 추세라고 한다면 2020년에는 다문화 가족 수는 100만 명에 달할 것으로 전망을 하고 있습니다. 특히 다문화 가족 자녀가 지속적으로 증가하고 있는데요. 다문화 가족 자녀는 앞으로 우리 국가 경쟁력 강화를 위한 그런 중요한 인재로 보고서 but government data also shows that the number of new multicultural marriages each year is on par with the number of divorces between Korean and foreign spouses. Lee Soo Yun is a Vietnamese migrant bride who now goes by her Korean name. The 36-year-old works as a translator at a center for immigrant women in Asan. She says her six-year marriage to a Korean man didn't go so well. <laughs> Lee is now separated from her husband and doesn't think they will rekindle. Their child now lives with her mother-in-law. Miss Lee faults the marriage agency for her situation, as well as for many other immigrant women like her. The South Korean government wants international marriage agencies to protect these women. It recently created a regulation that in order for a Korean to marry a foreigner, they must demonstrate that they can speak in a common language. Both man and wife need to show they have enough money to support themselves, too. Jolly Regacho is a counselor at the Asan Migrant Center. Originally from the Philippines and a one-time foreign bride herself, she says many of the migrant brides come to Korea with their own agenda. Some of the uh, international women think that this is Korea is a mecca, is is a very good place to live. Like what they watch in the drama, or like what they watch in the K-pop star, tall buildings, uh, the highlighted uh, highlighted buildings in Seoul, and uh, a kind of paradise for them. But that is not the real story here in Korea. Some bride from other country came here not because they know their husband uh, or they love their husband. They came here uh, most to 
for the reality. They came here to uh, for financial stability. Lagacho adds there are some other ways the government could help make these marriages last. They should also sh uh, make a project for the husband to learn the culture of their, uh, of their wife as well. As for Vietnamese migrant bride Tran Chi Chan Chuen, she says her greatest concern is that her children won't be treated the same as fully Korean kids. <laughs> All she says she can do is to raise her children the best she can.